Welcome to another movie. As you can see, uh, I have a, a small setup, uh, and today I want to talk about the Dumbo RC uh, remote. So I talk uh, with an, uh, another uh, viewer that has uh, had a problem with uh, setting up uh, a quite special trimming on on the remote, uh, and, and that's about the. Uh, third and fourth channel uh, ranges so uh, I wanted to make a movie and show about uh, most of the settings and most of the information about this uh, remote because there are some uh, modes, some uh, uh, trimming uh, of the receiver of, of course I have my uh, a manual in here but the manual is uh, designed for a NASA scientist that uh, it's uh, and sometimes it's uh, really hard to understand what they mean about the second many the third many I I don't have uh, uh, information about the uh, what they mean about the second many but uh, as far as I tested it it uh, worked fine for me uh, so uh, I have five servos in here. I know this uh, radio uh, have six uh, uh, channels, but because there is no VCC channel, I need to use the sixth channel with the where is gyro connected just to have a power. Uh, so that's uh, that's why I will show it only on five uh, servos. But if you don't use the gyro, the uh, the last channel will work the same but it will be quite hard to oh no maybe not hard because the second channel will charge it so you can use it I'm uh, using servos to show the rotation that's why I'm uh, not using the sixth channel I'm using my trusty uh, Ubic to test it I have a, a 3S LiPo battery to connect it of course I have my trusty analog batteries uh, in the remote uh, it is already bind uh, but if you want to bind it you just uh, uh, press uh, uh, one uh, once this button and when it's uh, connected and it will connect to the nearest uh, uh, transmitter but of course you get it uh, binded so it's not necessary and binding to another uh, transmitter or one tra uh, one transmitter to two receivers uh, rebinding uh, over and over will be annoying because you always need to uh, click it. Uh, so let's first. Uh, okay, so let's talk about the remote. Uh, as you may know, this is the um, simulator cha uh, channel. I have a. Let me take it out. This is the uh, my uh, Turnigi 9X uh, simulator cable. Uh, it's uh, as I believe it's a uh, really basic uh, cable for simulators. And what you do is you connect it like this. And now, if uh, you are not using the batteries, I do not suggest to use both methods in the same time. When you want to use it as a simulator, just take out the batteries and you can take out connect it uh, connect transmitter with the usb it's only uh, powering the uh, transmitter i don't know if if this will charge the batteries i don't think it will it will need to charge it separate uh, separately if not i uh, if it will not do it i don't suggest to put batteries inside I suggest only to use USB to power the uh, transmitter and a uh, simulator uh, cable if you want to uh, use some games, something like that, because it will be avail available on the system as a joystick and then you can uh, use it in some games, some simulators, but mostly it's better to just go out and <laughs> play with the uh, car. Now. Uh, those are those two. I know there are some accessories like the phone holder parts uh, are still not available on Banggood. Uh, I will get the X5 uh, transmitter soon. I want to order for my BMW that I'm uh, modifying and I will see what uh, that one will have. 
Uh, and moving on, let's connect it. Of course, I'm turning on the uh, transmitter uh, first. Blue light means uh, means it's in normal mode. Uh, there is, uh, I think, purple light, if I remember. That means it's in the mixing. I will show that. Uh, now we connect the battery. It's blinking green it's solid green now it means it's connected so uh, servos are let me get the cable of it uh, servos set uh, are set like this first channel second channel third fourth and uh, third channel so uh, f uh, first channel is always the oh sorry i'm uh, i'm too close to antenna that's why it's not working and to move all. so this is the first channel this is the second channel uh, this one is the third channel fourth channel and the uh, uh, sorry and the fifth channel is in here uh, remember that uh, when you have it close like this mostly it will not work or or it will twitch because uh, the signal is so strong on this transmitter it's uh, making some uh, noise on the on the signal and uh, it's not dedicated to work like this, but no one will use it like this. You need to always move it uh, away. So now uh, there is uh, there are two modes. So in this moment you have the steering servo, and you have a uh, ESC for the motor connected to the second channel that is controlled by this. I'm uh, having uh, it's a bit hard to see it like this uh, I'm uh, of course I have a servo connected just to show the range but no, mostly you will have a motor on this channel uh, that will of course will work like this forward uh, backward or uh, brake and then the back uh, backward so now as you can see I have servos just to show the, the range uh, of the motion uh, and now uh, we have uh, settings in here here is the dual rate if I remember uh, that means uh, how far the signal will uh, bend so now the steering oh, sorry, I'm a bit too close uh, now the steering have full range if I remember this is the first channel and now it's not so uh, adjusting this uh, knob I will set it to uh, uh, middle position you have half of the range so if the steering uh, wheel hitting something uh, on the turn you can reduce the angle on this uh, potentiometer and uh, same thing with the second one for the throttle if I reduce this to the half the throttle will have uh, half of the speed so in, uh, it means the car will uh, work slowly to the front and to the backward in the same time. It's working for uh, for both uh, direction in the same time. The second potentiometer is the centering. So let's say now car is uh, slightly turning to the left. With this potentiometer, so let me show it like this, you can adjust it to the center. So as you can, uh, I don't know if you can see it, it's now... Uh, not set in the center and I can adjust it so in the in this moment the wheels will just set straight and go straight the uh, and of course uh, the same thing on the uh, throttle uh, for the throttle you always uh, sorry you always uh, need to check if the if there is the same uh, distance for the front and for the rear uh, because there is a neutral position and if you uh, slightly move it and uh, to the front and it's uh, moving and you need to move uh, much more far to the back hold, uh, and to go back you need to adjust it and just have the same length for the front and for the uh, for the re uh, rear and this is what this this do uh, the switches change in the direction so now if I rotate it right it's uh, rotating to the uh, um, uh, backward uh, in the wrong position so if I switch this I will have in the same direction of course if your car is moving uh, backward instead of forward you just switch this and you have oh, sorry, and you have uh, the direction that you want 
so let me uh, reset the camera now sorry but after 10 minutes the camera is uh, always turning off and I have no idea why uh, sorry I'm uh, as I did say I'm too close that's why the servo is sometimes uh, driving up so there is also a second mode on this uh, radio and to uh, change the mode turning off the ra radio uh, pulling backward the trigger turning off uh, sorry turning on pulling to the front and release now there is a red light means it's in the V mixer mode V mixer modes is uh, for the uh, um, for machines that use two motors uh, to power each side of wheels or uh, truck so if you have a tank and you want to control it you connect not the servo and ESC you connect two ESCs so in this moment I have two motors uh, in here and when I'm going forward they will uh, let me switch one of them so they move in the same direction so now they are moving uh, in the same time but if I turn one is going to uh, one side and one is going to another side it means the uh, let's say if that's a tank it will rotate in one place of course it's uh, mixing uh, with uh, with uh, let me hold it like this of course it's mixing with both uh, steerings uh, in the same time so if oh sorry so if you are building uh, something with uh, trucks or uh, with uh, a motor on each uh, wheel you can always uh, switch to the mixing mode and have it uh, with the same uh, uh, on one uh, remote mostly i use a separate v mixers on uh, machines that uh, use two motors and with this remote i don't need that i uh, so on uh, some machines i have two escs and a uh, v mixer and on uh, with this radio i can have only the radio and two ESCs and I uh, have a V mixer built in on bigger radios you can set it but uh, this one have it already and that's why it's so great so now to set uh, switch it back turning off setting to the reverse uh, the trigger turning on to the front release and you have it separate so now uh, the thing that we talk uh, on uh, on the comments about the setting the uh, the, um, uh, the endpoints uh, on the uh, uh, third and on the fourth channel is uh, in the prog uh, programming mode. So now, uh, if I remember, let me think. I need to turn it off. I set the uh, steering wheel to the right fully. I turn it on, I release to the middle. Uh, am I wrong? Wait, oh, I don't remember now. Uh, and uh, repeat with the third channel. Now it's blinking blue, so you, you need to turn it off. Uh, let me do it again. Uh, turn right, turn on, release the wheel, and push the third button now it's blinking uh, blue it means in is in the program mode so using this two potentiometer from the channel one from the channel two you add use the maximum range of the third and fourth channel so now if i uh, leave this one uh, in the middle let me uh, adjust it to the middle and leave this one on the 25% the third channel will have only half uh, of the movement uh, server movement and the fourth channel will have only 25% to confirm that you hit the third channel again it's blue again it's switching and it's good to just unplug it and plug it again I don't know why why they twitching but uh, maybe it's because uh, I'm setting this. Uh, as far as uh, I heard, I need to do it again just to confirm. So I'm uh, turning off the remote, uh, switching full to the right, turning on, uh, letting to the center, hitting third channel, 
and hit in third channel again. Let's see now how it's working. Let's move it fully. Now I can set it to the full, set it to the center. And let us see. It's moving only halfway and So I still uh, not fully understand how it's getting so nuts. So this one is moving halfway. So as far as I understand, the second uh, time you change it, mm, so uh, right to now, center, third, let's move it fully, let's move it fully, confirm. Maybe I have it uh, not in the center. No, it's in the center. So it's uh, as you can see, it's uh, uh, also on the instruction. It's very hard to uh, understand uh, what is going. Twitching uh, like that. Maybe I'm too close. Let me move it a little further. No, it's still. Oh, even on the movie I cannot show what is going on. Send uh, change, move it fully, fully, confirm, and twitch. I still don't know why it's uh, so twitching when I'm uh, Changing that uh, that mode. So the steering is working, the throttle is working, but it's not getting back to the middle. You can see it's setting like this, and it should set back to the. So the middle position is not working. Okay, so let's. Uh, again, switching it. Adjust it, adjust it. Set it to the zero in case. Confirm. Oh, sorry. No, it's. It was not blinking the blue. Okay, send it like this, send it like this, confirm. And setting back. So it's a really annoying high hard sometimes to set this freaking thing. Let's see now. Shortly is not working fully. Okay, give me a second, I'll just play with this and see what's wrong in here. Okay, so I know what the, uh, what uh, mistake I did made, and the, it is uh, uh, shown on the instruction. I didn't know. So uh, first of all, we going into program mode, uh, steering to the right, turning on, steering to the center, hitting the third channel. It's blinking blue. Now you can set uh, in this moment. You can set uh, how far you want uh, the servo to rotate on the third and uh, on the fourth and on the fourth channel so let's set the third channel to the 25 percent and the fourth channel to the uh, full now what you need to do is to set the full range of first and the second channel so we move it fully uh, to the front to the backward to the right and to the left because you now set the maximum angles of those both channels and you confirm that on the third channel now as you can see wait i need to set it a little more uh, oh sorry i'm <laughs> i didn't connect it now when i connect it 
it's working fine it's not twitching because it's uh, knowing the full range of the wheel also the first channel now the third channel is moving slightly as you can see because I said 25% of course you can always uh, switch the holes on the servo but you can do this uh, di digitally but you will not know the angle so best is to connect it to the first uh, first or uh, second channel to the steering or to the throttle uh, see uh, check with this uh, potential meter what uh, maximum angle you want to have then go into program mode and change that so that is uh, is the best solution because in the program mode you will not uh, know the angle uh, now the third channel have the how uh, sorry let me say it like this the third channel have the 25% uh, now let me change it to full and so turning off uh, turning to the right turning on uh, turning to the center switching the third button and it's uh, blinking blue now we set the uh, both channel to 100% per, uh, percent. Uh, we adduce the maximum angles of uh, uh, first channel and for the second channel and we confirm with the third channel and we have it set so the steering work the throttle work uh, now the third channel have the full uh, range and the uh, fourth channel have full range so uh, also I want to see if I can do the same with the uh, with the sixth channel bus, but as far as I know, uh, there is no possible way to switch uh, to the uh, to adduce the, the position of these two channels. So they set it like this. Uh, now, so this is how the program mode uh, work. Now about the gyroscope. To activate the gyroscope, you need something small. There is a button on the remote. To rebind it, you click it once. And let me get it. Oh. Click it once. It will uh, start to blink and it will reconnect to the nearest turn on uh, radio that is, uh, that is uh, by the uh, receiver. Now, to turn on the gyroscope mode, you click three times. Let me put it inside little big one two three it will blink three times uh, and it's now now in the gyroscope mode what the gyroscope mode uh, uh, wait I will reduce it uh, is when the car is uh, turning and, uh, and sorry when ca uh, car goes straight and there are some rocks something like that is starting to slide to the sides and it will not go uh, straight uh, then the gyroscope when the car is moving in uh, one of the directions the servo will change uh, will uh, turn the wheels in other direction to get uh, back to the straight position this is great when you ride on the rocks or something like that because car will automatically adjust the direction uh, now it's let's see now when I turn right it's turning right so it's uh, wrong uh, as far as I know uh, this or this can be the front side so it needs to be uh, set like this with the car not like this but like this is uh, if I uh, not wrong but probably same in this direction as you can see it's moving and I'm not using the, the steering so now uh, it's working in wrong direction to change that you click uh, two times the button one two and now it's rotating in the other direction like it should so if the car will uh, get on the rock uh, on uh, trying to get straight and um, get on the rock and it will turn left the steering wheel uh, uh, the wheels uh, will turn right like like this it's hard to show because uh, it's uh, really fast and you can adjust this uh, come on stop it you can adjust this by the sixth uh, position uh, potential meter so if you are using gyroscope the sixth uh, channel will uh, be uh, using the uh, 
this potential meter and I don't think you can still use it uh, for a servo it's quite uh, not usable in that moment so you can reduce it let's set it to 25% now it's moving slightly you can of course say that to 100% but this mostly will not uh, work uh, on any surface so the best solution is set it to half like now and then adjust it uh, on uh, on the road if your car is uh, really trying to fight it really hard then reduce it if it's not uh, adjusting the position uh, too good just increase it so this uh, just uh, will take some uh, time to play but mostly i have it uh, on fail uh, and mostly it's best to set it on uh, 50 percent the i can tell you already that the gyroscope is not uh, uh, is not popular on uh, cheap remotes like this so that's why the Dumbo is great because there is a V mixer to control two ESCs uh, with the mixing steering and the gyroscope because it's really something new when you get a gyroscope in this price it's not uh, quite interesting on a crawlers when it will uh, go on the rocks and the steering wheels will try to adjust it but it's great on the on-road or uh, off-road cars because uh, especially off-road cars because if it will go straight and there will be a rock and a car will just rotate it the steering wheels will just get it straight back so that's why this uh, this Dumbo RC are so great and uh, the gyroscope is really working fine on this and that's quite amazing in this price <laughs> so uh, that's the most uh, things I think I wanted to show you sorry uh, about uh, the problem w with the steering wheel that I uh, show but I still uh, learn this thing mostly I will not uh, use uh, this potential matters uh, to adduce the third and fourth channel because the third channel I use for the uh, light switch and the uh, fourth channel I use for the uh, um, turning indicators and lights and I really don't need to adduce the range because those are digital um, circuits and I don't use it uh, only thing I did forget to tell you when you go uh, when you set the angles of the third and fourth channel and you go out uh, from the let me reduce it you go out from the uh, programming mode always set it back to uh, to the uh, range you want because uh, uh, you in the program mode you set the third and fourth channel and if you confirm with the third channel you need to set it back uh, for the uh, first and for the second channel because uh, outside of the program mode is using for the first and second channel and uh, in the program mode it's using for the third and ch uh, fourth channel so that's uh, why you need to adjust it back of course I will need to get it back to my car because I took it out from the Mercedes and uh, reduce the uh, the steering because it will hit uh, on turn and adjust uh, the, the centering uh, back so that's all for now I hope this will hel uh, help uh, anyone that have problems uh, setting this up it is uh, quite hard the manual is uh, not always easy to to read but I hope this will uh, help you set it uh, up so that's all for now